Yes, speed in three, two, one. It's all your show. When I go on television, Mr. Stone, and I say this is the best movie I've seen all year, the person I'll be thinking about is my oldest brother, who's a Vietnam veteran, and his reaction to what I'm saying about that, because I'm sure he has preconceived notions about what this might be. What are your thoughts about that and the reaction that I might get from saying to someone who hasn't seen the film, probably? Tough question. I, all I can say is I hope the film speaks for itself. It's about all human experience. It doesn't matter if you're Vietnamese or American. Uh, I think that there's a line in the film that says, uh, different skin, same suffering. And I think it's a film about healing and about reconciliation and about ultimately about compassion. It's about faith. Also, Buddhist faith, uh, Christian faith, faith in the spirit world. And uh, I think the film tries to deal with issues that are beyond ideology, beyond you know who was right, who was wrong, who won, who lost. Uh, and hopefully it speaks for itself. You can't help during some of these scenes to squirm, and I know that's what you want us to do. Uh, once you get into the flow of the film, though, you see the bigger picture, but it is a little hard to get going with it, maybe the first half hour. Uh, it's about real things that happened to Vietnamese mm -hmm. people, and I, obviously I, I wasn't as graphic as what really happened, as you know. I mean, it was a rough war. But in a film, you tend to pull back a little bit. And I tried to be gentle, but it is ferocious war. And you know you can't stint on that. So you must show it as, at least with a, a true spirit. And because that makes the peace and the love that she seeks all the more uh, powerful, because there's a contrast between harshness, savagery, and, and love. And that's what I wanted to catch. Does this movie really have anything to do with your other two Vietnam movies? I don't see it. but. Uh... Do you see I it think, that way? Uh, I think it's just the other side. It's just what, you know, I walked through the villages as an infantry. Mm -hmm. I saw these peasants and I didn't relate to them at all. I thought, so you told that story in Platoon? I told that story in Platoon. We had a scenes where there was random violence mm -hmm. in the villages. We killed them. We thought they were sympathizers with the North Vietnamese army, and they were for the most part. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, in this film, I explore why. And I think I try to make the American people understand what we were up against and what we would be up against if we intervened in any country, whether it was Mogadishu or, or Panama, that we are going to be, that there is a cost, a price to pay for intervention. Yeah, I was going to ask if you thought that, uh, is your position, after thought of thinking about this so much, we should be isolationist? No, no. I think we can play a role in the world through the United Nations. I feel very strongly that the United Nations could become a, a dominant uh, political force for social good, and I think we should support it. Uh, and I think that each case is obviously different. You can't generalize about these things, but intervention should be, before it's undertaken, should be really thought out and discussed and examined, because you have to understand the cultural heritage of the people that you are intervening, and uh, you must be careful. One thing that came to me when I studied uh, Vietnam, and I went back to Vietnam with Lele Hayslip, and I understood what village life had, be, had been, the beauty of it, mm -hmm. the beauty of their worship, their ancestor worship, their cemeteries, their shrines. I didn't understand that as a soldier. And I, think, I hope it becomes clear through the movie, the price we paid. I was reading the article in Entertainment Weekly. It said, you were bruised by the turmoil around JFK. Were you really? I mean, what, what, why were you bruised if you were indeed well, that was bruised? Their, that was their word. Yeah. Uh, let's just say that it was a lot of pressure because it was a rare instance where I was defending the movie after it had been released for a long time and I was writing letters and getting, uh, speaking on television and it was a tough period because I was being attacked for a lot of things I was trying to defend myself against. So it was a nice thing to uh, be able to get out of the country and go, go to the Far East again and uh, there's a gentleness out there and a sense of surrender. It was just a, it was a good antidote to the pressure I was feeling here. It had to be a tough movie to make as a filmmaker, though, my goodness. It was. It was Conditions. tough. I saw there were snakes. There were snakes. There was a lot of weather. Uh, there was a lot of rain. And we were wet a lot. And in the mud. And, uh, but it was a great experience. In the middle of all that, do you sometimes say, why am I doing this? No, I never doubted it because it was such a privilege to, honestly, for me to go back and go into the rice fields with a Vietnamese peasant woman and uh, share an experience I never had as a person. That is what movies are about, getting outside yourself. Yeah, I never thought I would, the day I would be feeling sympathy. I just never thought about it. That's great. And I've seen that's the movie great. now, and I guess that's very important. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, uh,